Surprise! It's time. Ginger Runner. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner, here for another GingerRunner.com review. Very excited about today's reviews. That's right, plural, two. Two reviews, both from Ultra. You are currently watching my review of the brand new Ultra Escalante. Oh, yeah. I like this one, guys. I also posted a second review from Ultra today for the brand new King MT, which is another really interesting shoe. So if you want to watch this review, there's a link in the description as well as the end of this video. Otherwise, stick around and let's watch the review for the Ultra Escalante. All right, what we have here is a brand new shoe from Ultra that kind of hits all the marks. It's light, it's fast, it's zero drop, it's cushioned with the new Ego midsole. Stretchy knit upper. It's all the rage these days. Flexible, light, just, uh, you guys, this is a pretty damn fun shoe. I'm going to say that the Escalante is very reminiscent of the Ultra The One, which is one of my favorite road shoes of yesteryear. Right out of the box, ran the Big Sur Marathon in that shoe, and I can see myself doing the same in this one. Just a modern, more current version of that shoe. Cushioned, responsive, fast, flexible, stretchy, more resilient, more stylish. It's a good thing. All right, enough of me waxing poetic on this thing. Let's just get into the nitty gritty things that I like and dislike about this shoe. There's only a couple of dislikes, so let's, as always, start with things I like. Ego. E-G-O, Ego. The Ultra Ego midsole material is their brand new midsole. It's resilient, it's cushioned and bouncy, but yet also responsive. It kind of hits all the marks there as well. And you instantly notice its difference from previous Ultra midsole materials. Really fun. It's an absolute pleasure to run long distance in. And so far, damn resilient. Which I can't always say about previous versions of the midsole material. The upper. Lots of shoe brands are doing this now, and I don't necessarily have a problem with it unless it's done poorly, but the knit upper is awesome. It's super thin. This is actually a thinner upper than most of these knitted uppers that we're getting from other shoe brands out there, which is a good thing. It's still stretchy. It's still breathable. Looks great casually, but feels fantastic on your foot. Never really established any hot spots or anything like that. Was able to lock it down pretty good. That stretchiness also helps in the midfoot, forefoot area to give you a little bit of breathability and adaptability if your foot begins to swell over long runs. Yeah, it's nice. Speed. With a minimal outsole and a super tight responsive yet cushioned midsole, you're able to go pretty fast in this shoe. Keep a nice high cadence, high turnover without too much fatigue. It's great for long stretches, but also good for speed work. So that adaptability is key. I mean, you can just downshift into cruise control and run long distance in this thing, and then somewhere in the middle of your workout, start kicking up the pace, and it, it all works. Nice. And finally, it's light. 8.4 ounces in my size, size 11, which is darn light compared to shoes that I've been reviewing as of late. It's due in part to that new midsole, that fresh upper. It's very simple. It's a simple shoe. There's not a lot going on, so it's also incredibly flexible. You take into account the foot shape, flexibility, and that simplicity, and it is a nice, lightweight, go far, go fast shoe. It's not all snowscapes and button willows. There's a couple of things I dislike. They're not hugely crucial dislikes, but they're definitely something to be aware of. The lockdown. It's tough in the shoe to get a good, solid lockdown. Because of this upper mesh being so stretchy, your foot will slide around. Just get used to it. So for long straightaways or long stretches where you're not doing a lot of hard turning, you'll be just fine. But if you're looking to work out in a gym or some sort of CrossFit or something where you're looking for a zero drop shoe, something a little bit more relaxed and minimal, banking around turns, you're just gonna have some issues with your foot sliding around. It's especially noticeable back here in the heel. I feel like I've had a lot of issues with Ultra's heel. It's really built up. There's not a lot of heel counter here at all. So I'm always finding myself having to utilize that extra ankle lock lace loop. And I'm still not super happy with getting a full lockdown on this shoe. I mean, some welded overlays or some sort of internal bracing system that just minimally attaches to the laces so you can really lock it down in the midfoot can help. Otherwise, it's just something you're going to have to get used to. Longevity. I will point this out as a dislike only because I've had bad experiences with some ultras in the past where they flatten out prematurely. The midsole material just wears in way too fast. You get maybe 100, 150 miles into the shoe before it really starts to break down. I don't have that many miles in this shoe yet. I have about 63-ish. And so far, it's holding up quite well. I'm still getting plenty of cushion, plenty of resiliency in the midsole. And the upper is holding up really well. There's not a lot of seams breaking or anything at this point. But based off my experience, it is a concern that I am going to point out. And I expect you guys, if you get the Escalante, to let us know in the comments how your shoes hold up. And that is pretty much it for dislikes with the Escalante. I've been really happy with this shoe. I, like, I'm blushing, gushing? Blush gushing? Blush gushing about it. All right, so before I get into the points, I want to point out again, with all ultras, you're dealing with a zero drop shoe. So those of you who are not familiar with that or are not used to that, 
get used to it or at least slowly adapt to these shoes. I noticed it a lot in this one because of this midsole being a little bit bouncier, a little bit more cushioned. You get good ground feel in it. So when you're running those roads, you're going to want to adapt your feet, your ankles, your shins, your calves, everything to a zero drop form. Be real gradual with it. All right. So let's move on to the points. Best part, because it doesn't really matter. Quality. Four out of five, solid quality shoe. I am wary of what it could potentially do in future miles as far as breaking down. But overall, I'm really pleased with the new Ego midsole, at least in this shoe. Comfort, four out of five, comfortable shoe. Having a blast in it, that's a good thing. Yeah. Price, 130 bucks. It's a little steep for a shoe that is very simple, but I will give it a four out of five because I think I'm having a lot of fun in this and I think it's kind of worth it. And finally looks, I'm not opposed to it. I'm, again, a big fan of these kind of casual shoes that can work both with the pair of jeans, but also with a pair of running shorts. So I'm gonna give a four out of five on looks. Brings our grand total to a solid 16 out of 20. You guys love it when I give 16 out of 20. In this case, it's a pretty darn solid score right there at 16, which brings me into the buy, try, or why. Yeah, I'm gonna give these a buy, purely because I'm having so much fun in them. Are they a Kinvara killer? You guys know how much I love the Kinvaras, and there's other red shoes that I like equally as much as the Kinvaras. I, I don't think they're a killer, but I definitely think they're on the same plan. I have yet to try the Kinvara 8, which I've heard good things about, but uh, overall, I would run a marathon on this shoe. I would run a half marathon on this shoe. I would have a lot of fun in this shoe. Look into it. So that, my friends, is it for my review of the Ultra Escalante. Don't forget, I have another review, also posted today, of the Ultra King MT. My opinion's a bit different on this shoe, which also utilizes the Ego midsole, so you may want to check the review of this out. Again, link in the description as well as at the end of this video. So the question now goes out to you, the viewers. Have you run in the Ultra Escalante? If you have, let me know in the comments below whether you like the shoe, if it's something that you can see yourself running a marathon in, if you're curious about or have any questions and stuff like that. Let's get the dialogue going. And that, my friends, is it. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash the ginger and new videos twice a week, sometimes even daily vlogs, depending on what adventures are happening. You've got all these wonderful social media links there. And if you want to help keep this channel running, go to patreon.com slash the ginger Little as a buck a month makes it all happen. All right, guys, that's it. I had a lot of fun with this one. My beard also enjoyed it. Get out there, train hard, race harder, and party the hardest. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, goodbye.